Hi, I'm Madison Grant. And I'm Samantha Jackson. And you're watching XU News. Where you get all things XU. And on today's first hot topic, St. Michael's Residence Hall is getting a makeover. Representative and alumnus Troy Carter has designated $2.5 million to Xavier University through the American Rescue Act. This first phase of transformation will allow for pre-medical advising and STEM education. This will offer pre-health advising, tutoring, and career services on the first floor. In addition, the upper floors will transform into new classrooms and labs for STEM education. This will also continue to honor the Freedom Riders presence after the transformation of the residence hall by maintaining visual artifacts and placing historical markers around the building. Next, we have the T-Rex Center Grant, which is in works with alumna Dr. Lauren Powell. Xavier has been granted $3 million from the Takeda Pharmaceuticals. This donation will allow for the creation of the Technical Research and Exchange Center, which will work to provide health equity, clinical trials, works, advocacy, and other stem-related resources. Thank you, Representative Troy Carter and Dr. Lauren Powell for your work and donation to Xavier University. Last Friday, XU Lava Xavier's Vietnamese Club held their event Zygon Night, which helped expose students to Vietnamese culture and raise money for charity. Now we're going to pass it off to Amaria for more information. Zygon Night, a play on words for Saigon, which was formerly South Vietnam's capital, was an event that showcased Vietnamese culture in a perfect glimpse thrown by Xavier's Vietnamese Culture Club XU Lava. I got to see a part of culture that I haven't really witnessed before, like stuff you kind of see on TV and like, but you don't really see in real life. Special performers included the Michael Jackson impersonator and even the lion and dragon dancers. This event had traditional Vietnamese games, photo booths, food, and drinks. XU Lava worked extremely hard to bring the Vietnamese community together as they invited the entire southern region of culture clubs. While this event was about having fun, its main purpose was to raise money to help Vietnamese people in need. To do so, they held a Pi and eboard member segment that students really enjoy. Thank you, XU Lava. Thank you so much, Amaria, for that wonderful reporting and XU Lava for an amazing event. And congratulations is in order as the cheer team takes all. Our cheer team competed in the 6th annual NAIA Competitive Cheer National Championship in Ypsilanti, Michigan on March 12th. And the cheer team made Xavier history as the first team to take a national championship title. Not only did they make Xavier history, but they became the first HBCU to win this title. Our cheer team received the highest score in the NAIA Cheers National History. Congratulations, Xavierites! And now we're going to tune in with Amaria, who is the inside scoop with cheerleaders Jemiah and Alyssa. Hi, you guys. My name is Amaria Ackerson, here reporting for XU News. And today I'm gladly here with... I'm Jemiah. I'm Alyssa. And they are part of the amazing national cheer winning championships. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Get into that. Congratulations, you guys. Thank, Just thank say that you. Xavier is so proud of you guys. And we couldn't have a better squad, right? <laughs> so my first question is for both of you guys. How does it feel to be champions? Oh my god. Well, first off, I can say that it still really hasn't sunk in. Mm -hmm. Like, people acknowledge that we're champions, and we, but like, I ask myself, or like, I tell myself, dang, like, we won. <laughs> yeah. Like, I can't believe we won. And the feeling is just really indescribable. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to back up, piggyback off what she said. Mm -hmm. It doesn't honestly feel real. Um, it's great, honestly, like, mm -hmm. doing with a team, especially people you created a bond with. Is, I think it's amazing. Yeah, and last year y'all placed fifth at nationals, but how does it feel to come back on that stage and just show yourselves and show that y'all can really do this? It feels really good. Um, last season, our main goal was to place top five. Like, it was a new territory. We weren't really familiar with the different schools and, like, the competition. and the Well, the competition, yes, but, like, as far as the difficulty-wise and, like, the ranges that each team goes to. Mm -hmm. um, so to place top five was a a major accomplish accomplishment for us but after having like such a great season this year we were like no top five isn't enough we want right. to we want to win so right. it felt really good to accomplish that yeah. these women did an amazing 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 job and like we said we are so proud of you guys but now that you guys have won how does it feel to decompress like what are y'all stages and winding down because we know this was very rigorous and y'all put so much work and time and effort your bodies are probably pretty damaged and worn down <laughs> <laughs> to be quite honest that's not so, even the words you know, for <laughs> what's the come down process for you guys post competition well during the season we we a lot of us 
Including both of yeah. <laughs> So we do physical therapy. So yeah. we did physical therapy all year long just mm-hmm. to keep track with our bodies and uh, the amount of like constant like pounding and, and things that we yeah. experience during practice. Because mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, y'all are seeing like we're hitting, we're doing the skills, but behind the scenes we be falling, we be hurting ourselves. People be falling on top of us. I've probably no, fallen on top yeah. of her on several several occasions. Mm-hmm. But um, during the off season, mm-hmm. I can say the biggest thing that that I'm focused on is getting rest because mm-hmm. I've yeah. been I've been restless. I always say it's it's never enough time in the day to fully be a Xavierite. Mm-hmm. And when you're an athlete, especially in the the season that we've had, it's, it kind of felt like we had like the playoffs mm-hmm. like all in one month. Right. To be completely honest right. with you, because our season kept getting pushed back mm-hmm. due to COVID, due to the hurricane, due to snow in some places because mm-hmm. we were traveling and mm-hmm. they were having snow and we, mm-hmm. we couldn't compete. So. Um, Mainly rest and, and getting caught up, up um, caught up on my studies. Yeah, I'm basically doing the same thing. Like yesterday, I think a, a couple of my teammates and I went to go get tacos. I was like, y'all, we haven't done this in a minute. Like, yeah. We don't never have time <laughs> right, to yeah. do stuff like this. So I was like, what am I supposed to do in my free time? Right. But I'm definitely going to sleep. I love to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely gonna be sleeping. Lots, right. lots, and lots of yeah. rest. For speaking with us at XU News, congratulations yet again, again, Thank again. You. You're you never so going much. to not give you guys your flowers. <laughs> Y'all are really going down in the history yeah. books. That's right. Soon enough, that banner is gonna be up in the athletics department. Mm-hmm. Like, y'all are gonna see y'all stuff <laughs> everywhere. Definitely be on um, the lookout for that. What is you guys' Instagram? Would you guys like to give out your social medias and stuff like that for the team? Sure. Where you can find the, the baby doll at, you guys can find for your little daughters, your sons, all your pupils, and yeah. Yeah. Right, so the baby dolls are actually um, on our cheer website. It's mm-hmm. zulacheer.com. Mm-hmm. Um, they sold out. Yeah. So oh, <laughs> the, okay. the, the first the first set have sold out, and it was we really well we were expecting to have a good turnout, mm-hmm. but it it, it far was exceeded that. Yeah. Right. Far exceeded that. Um, oh, the cheer page. Yes. The cheer page is zula underscore cheer. That's right. Zula. Yeah, Zula and Scorch cheer. here on Instagram. Hey, well, we're going to wrap this up. My name is Amari Ackerson reporting for XU News. Thank you again to Maya and Alyssa, and congratulations. For more sports news, the men and women's tennis team won against Texas Wesleyan 7-0. Xavier's men's basketball team lost against Arizona Christian during the second round of the NAIA Nationals. The softball team won against Texas College with a score of 10-1. to And our baseball team won against Southwest 4-3. to Good, Good job, job Xavierites! In this week's current events, we have Service Saturday, March 19th, meeting in the UC from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Tuesday, March 22nd, XAB is holding a song association and finish the lyrics challenge on the yard. Make sure you stop by for a chance to win a Polaroid camera or a $50 gift card. On Wednesday, March 23rd, XAB is also hosting Nuck If You Rush. Wear your Xavier merch on the yard at 12 p.m. for a chance to win super sweet giveaways. The Public Health Student Organization is hosting Wellness Wednesday at the Botanical Gardens for free. Make sure you stop by for a chance to de-stress during the week from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. XAB is hosting a lit sip and paint event in collaboration with Dillard from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. On Friday, March 25th, Women of Xavier in collaboration with XAB will be hosting Fly Girl Friday. Make sure you dress to impress on the yard. On Saturday, March 26th, if you can't attend the booth, Best, XAB is going to Algiers Ferry and Picnic. Riding across the Mississippi River to Algiers Point to have a picnic, XAB will be providing food, drinks, and games. Make sure you stay in tune with all the campus events on X and Ecker Court. And that's all for this episode of XU News. I'm Madison Grant. And I'm Samantha Jackson, and we're here to keep you in tune with all things XU. XU.